Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, junk Shop Library here with Improv Bible Study. Uh, this one may be a bit shorter because we are now moving on to Genesis chapter 5, which is genealogy. Let's just see what we can make of this. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years, and begat a son in his own likeness, and after his image, and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. And Seth lived a hundred and five years, and begat Enosh. And Seth lived after he begat Enosh eight hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. And Enosh lived ninety years, and begat Canaan. And Enosh lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enosh were nine hundred and five years, and he died. And Canaan lived seventy years, and begat Mahalalel. And Canaan lived after he begot Mahalalel eight hundred and forty years, and begat sons and daughters. All the days of Canaan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. And Mahalalel lived sixty and five years, and begat Jared. And Mahalalel lived after he begat Jared eight hundred and thirty years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalalel were eight hundred ninety and five years, and he died. And Jared lived a hundred and sixty-two years, and he begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived a hundred eighty and seven years, and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years, and he died. And Lamech lived a hundred and eighty-two years, and begat a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah five hundred ninety and five years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy-seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And that's the end of chapter 5. If you're going to fight in the comments, this is definitely the episode to do it. As far as I can tell, there's only about three or four things of interest in this whole chapter. Uh, most obviously, it's where Noah came from. We'll deal with Noah later. Uh, second, it's where Methuselah and as old as Methuselah came from. Because after all, Methuselah lived um, 33 years longer than Adam. So, big let me know when you break a thousand, buddy. Um, the only thing of great interest I find, great interest, great relative interest to this riveting piece of text, um, is the, the story of Enoch, uh, who had a son at 65 and walked with God for 300 years after that and didn't die. He was taken by God. I have no idea what that means. Um, 
in the, in the book Many Waters, which is about time travel back to the days immediately prior to the flood, um, Madeline Lingle, better known for uh, A Wrinkle in Time and its uh, sequels and prequels. And you want to talk about fun with, with time travel and timelines? That's serious. Anyway, in, in Many Waters, um, Enoch has already been gone for some time, and some of his, his many sons and daughters are characters that, that the time-traveling protagonists meet in the story. And uh, that interpretation of being taken by God is being assumed bodily into heaven. Uh, spoiler alert for Many Waters, uh, the reason that one of the characters doesn't end up getting on the ark is because she is, is not, is taken by God bodily into heaven uh, just before the rain starts to happen and floods out the entire planet. And we'll deal with that in the story of Noah. Um, but yeah. As, as Dick Solomon says, uh, these people begat their brains out, and that's essentially all that happened in Chapter 5. Um, I don't think I need to let myself ramble about that much more. Uh, in Chapter 6, we start the story of Noah. Strap in! Um, please click somewhere in this area to subscribe and come back and see us next time. If you haven't already, check out the uh, previous videos uh, going back to the very beginning of time. Uh, we will see you again soon.